Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are, you know, doing something a little bit, not long overdue, but you know, sometimes it's nice to change things up. Honestly, um, I just enjoy chaos. I've been loving my pencil case system that I've had for a while now, but there's just something in me that was wanting to try you know this pencil case that i saw actually shout out to pen paper 19 i watched this video back in um i think like 2021 i haven't seen a lot of people posting videos about this certain pen case and then recently probably maybe a few months ago uh there was a surge of you know maybe uh, you know what i don't think it's a surge of people uploading it's just me you know when you're like hyper fixated on something and you're actively you know searching it and you're seeing it everywhere that that was me um a few months ago um i was really hyper fixated on the superior labor utility case um but i just couldn't purchase it like for the longest time because i wanted the natural leather one which was you know showcased in pen paper 19's video um like back in like 2021 um that was one thing and also just the cost of it um because you know pencil cases you know for the most part should for me are i've been used to a certain price range um and you, you know used to a certain type of pencil case like these nylon ones or like um yeah things that are not you know won't break the bank um but this one from the superior labor which surprise surprise this is a little bit of an unboxing and also a setup video um yeah it's a little bit more pricey so i guess i just wanted to preface that by saying that you know this might be a little bit more pricey but you know you don't need this you can you know purchase a pencil case that works for you i'm just going to showcase how i'm going to be setting this up and hopefully it inspires you to find you know a nicer alternative honestly i was actually talking to um a few friends um and i think there's a german company that makes a nice alternative to this um but i don't quite remember uh what it's called but I, ooh, wow that was that diclimactic oh ah, it's so nice this is the superior labor utility uh case uh not to be confused with the utility pouch which is more of like this thinner kind of pouch that can you know hold um stuff that a wallet would hold this is definitely a case it is quite large and it is made out of leather i bought the green one i know i said i wanted the natural leather one but um i bought this on sale on um december 26th it was my birthday uh I think right when it hit around like midnight, you know, I did my, you know, usual birthday stuff and then I went on to 26 Market, which is a Canadian retailer of Superior Labor. And if you know anything, uh, Superior Labor doesn't, you know, go on sale very often. So I had to jump at the t chance of, you know, purchasing this and I'm so happy that I did. So there's some detailing. There's the um, kind of logo that they have. They've kind of revamped the logo in 2022 i don't know if they're going with that but this is more of their traditional logo it's a this is a very saturated green so it's quite dark this is my slim del day case for reference so yeah, they're kind of this a similar size in terms of height but this is actually a little bit shorter um, but this can be extended and in terms of color this is definitely darker I've, i'm uh definitely on a green kick and i think i like owning green items a lot even though it's one of my many favorite colors but yeah this is my favorite pen and so they all kind of match visually and here's the lovely pen rest crab you know all kind of matches um but yeah let's let's uh let's see what can fit in here and we'll set it up so i actually haven't opened this up yet let's see Ooh, i love it i love Ooh, okay that has the just a little tag in here but i love how roomy it is and i love how there's uh pockets here and i think i was saying earlier that i was a little bit like mm, should i be doing this because i already have a pencil case that i absolutely love um let me just grab it this is um one of like my ultimate favorites from 2022 um if i were to make like an ultimate favorites from that year it would definitely be this pencil case because this has you know traveled with me quite a bit but i was looking for something larger and i was looking for something that actually could fit um 
my kind of current uh, pen case that I really enjoy and this fits uh, sorry that was just a quick check um, this holds like my fountain pens that I've been enjoying and liking and it provides a way to carry fountain pens with the rest of my pens in a way that is you know secure because I like this but I don't really i don't know ever since i've gotten these um gotten this twisby oh no this twisby iris really roughed up um in another pen case you can you can't really see it but a large chunk of the finish was actually scratched off um and i was noticing that again with my other pens that have um you know chan uh pen cases that have the ability for the uh, different pens to touch, kind of like this one. I've been really scared to bring fountain pens in. So that's been a very big deterrent. I've been actually just carrying this a lot and carrying this separately. And, you know, I just want to carry everything in one place. Um, for context, I also usually bring this around. So this is the Travelers. No, this is not Travelers. This is um, Superior, the Superior Labor Tool pouch toolkit tool pouch which i absolutely love this is actually gotten a lot of use i don't show it a lot on my channel but this has my planning things like the this mod liner set that i like a lot plus the gray i use a lot and then i use these um subtle kind of mild liner-esque dot markers from um from Z zig no kuretake from um zig kuretake the clean colored dots in like the mild one these are the non uh dual tip ones so they're shorter but this kind of has everything that i needed when i was bullet journaling and now that i don't bullet journal i still use this in my planner a lot i keep a tombow for the no escape brush pen here and a pilot friction which i like using when i'm planning and i usually bring this with me so it ended up being like three pouches and then this Del Day, I actually had this filled up. Sorry, and I'm being very chatty right now. I'll get to the point and fill this up soon. But I actually, um, before my birthday, which I got this lovely handmade um, vase from a friend, which is stunning. I'll show you in a little bit. Shout out to my friend Kat. Um, this is what it looks like. Has these daisies. Isn't that so pretty? Um, but I was actually using this to hold all of my favorite, um, my new favorite mild liners, um, and also my favorite um, uh, brush pens at the moment, which is the um, the sign pens from Pentel. And I usually bring this, so <laughs> it becomes a little bit intense. Like I'll bring this, and I'll bring this, and I'll bring this, and I'll bring this, <laughs> and then if I want a watercolor. Oh my gosh, just wait. I will bring this guy. <laughs> he really said, hey, did you want a pencil case? And I'll just say, yeah, <laughs> I'll bring all of them. So this usually is my watercolor setup. And you know, this is nice for a modular system where, you know, this has uh, the kit that you need. Like if you think about it, this is kind of like different kits. Like this is a bullet journaling kit. This is a brush lettering kit. This is my everyday pencil kit and then this is like my fountain pen kit but it's not really sustainable and honestly i don't bring all of these all the time like i usually bring this and this for like 90 percent of the time but if you know i know i want to do some planning i'll bring this i mean i carry this a lot so this happens a lot but yeah it's kind of redundant so i kind of want to slim down my you know my system and also um you know maybe let you know my loved ones or other friends borrow these pen cases while they're not being used so um yeah i think this also just goes to show that if you are in the stationary hobby you get really deep into it and sometimes it is just you know a rabbit hole you're finding finding and chasing like the perfect system and honestly there isn't a perfect system so um I hope this is not, you know, causing any, uh, not existential, but like some dread to like revamp your system because, you know, it's never going to be perfect. And I have come to peace with that, even though this is pretty darn perfect. But I think um, this has the makings of 
um, this in terms of quality and like how functional it's going to be. So I'm just going to move out of this and, you know, um, see how this works. But I like how this has this whole pouch here that can fit things that could easily be get could easily get lost in um, a regular pencil case. But what I love about this is that this has a visual aspect to it, which I'm nervous because this kind of covers up a large chunk of stuff. So I am worried, but we shall see. So USB eraser, glue stick, cream correction tape, regular white correction tape, tiny scissors and trusty um, uh, dot liner from Kokuyo. These are all my favorites. And so if someone said, you know, what are your favorite items? These are usually the ones I would recommend um, in terms of journaling. And then, oops, I have um, a kneaded eraser here too. Okay, that fits in there. And I can fit way more in there. Um, and then these are pencils. And I think I'm going to try and move all of this in here um it seems intense let's see and we can totally fit way more in there though hmm maybe we put the mod liners somewhere else oh yeah maybe oh no it seems kind of tight can i fit these too i don't know how much you can actually fit in this actually um, <laughs> um let me see that's feeling a little tight i'm feeling a little nervous maybe these don't need to be in here per se sorry this is truly like we're, we're hashing it out we're figuring things out um oh yeah that fits in there and honestly like do i need to bring all these you know all of these markers probably not but I don't know. I just want to see how fill how much we can fill this thing up. Wow. <laughs> we really said, "Hey, let's fit everything into that one compartment." Oh no, will this even close? Oh no, this reminds me of when I was in elementary school and I would bring those giant I, they still sell them cuz I still see some students bring them to school, but like those pencil cases that are made out of plastic that are like a different color on top of uh and it's a different kind of plastic what is it called i see them every day <laughs> and then um the there's another color at the bottom like it's usually just clear okay these two cannot make it and then let's put all these pens in here um let's see Is there a pilot friction in there and a uni jet stream no there's not let's put a unit a uni jet stream yeah that feels good let's we can even put two types of tombow foot in oskes put this in here um oh you know what i forgot to put a water brush let's take some of these out Um, oh shoot Okay, we, there's some overlap. I think we have uni pin in here Yeah, uni pin is one of my favorites. We'll put this one here, too. Did I have a pencil in there? Um, Wow, we haven't been carrying a pencil. That's not good. Let's carry this pencil Um, And then I'm gonna move all of these water brushes in here and this paper towel oh dang this is gonna be chonky maybe i don't need to bring all those mod liners i'm just being really greedy now <laughs> is this supposed to be a pen case setup or uh um what can he bring in his pencil case Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now at this point, we're just stuffing things in. Okay. The most important part. Does that fit in there? 
Oh shoot. <laughs> Maybe I'm oh Okay, I just want to show this but I'm gonna slim it down If you really wanted to you can that makes me Feel Not good things <laughs> I know the leather can handle it, but it does it just ugh. It feels like I'm stretching it out too much. Okay. Okay, abort, abort mission. So maybe I still do need to keep my markers separately. I am gonna say this tiny and light um, Euroleco flat tool case, still recommend this. It kept a lot of the stuff in here, um, but with, you know, it kept it light, it kept it um, manageable, it kept it quite thin. This is definitely bulkier. And I think I might have to pick and choose which mod liners I want to bring because that seems to be the point of contention right now is how much these markers can actually fit and then all of these water brushes. And honestly, I didn't even put the water color palette, which is probably the most important part of this. If I am bringing all these water brushes without a palette, what's the point? Um, so we'll have to reevaluate that. Let's just take this out. Okay, do I need this one? Probably not. I'll put it back in here. And I'm still going to probably keep this set up uh, in case I just want to bring this uh, just to watercolor. This one is nice. It, I can just keep transfer this over and um, some water brushes and we're good to go. So that that feels good. Um, but yeah, let's look at these mild liners. I think we only need to bring, well, we need to bring the scissors. Um, and I use the yellow, maybe that, and then maybe we'll just do t two dot markers for now. Um, I think that's good. Actually, let's bring that. <laughs> okay. I feel good. I feel good. Like, this is great, and <laughs> nothing fits. Um, there's something bulky in here. Oh, okay. It's the scissors. Okay, never mind. This fits better. <laughs> As I lie to myself. Who thought this was just going to be uh, 10 minutes of Joe lying to himself compilation? Okay, this feels more manageable. Will it close? Will it close? <laughs> it's still so thick, shoot. <laughs> Everyone such has such aesthetic. Oh, okay. I don't feel too bad about that. Will the outlines of this kind of bug me? Probably. Can I probably make it fit a little bit more nicely? It's nice, but I kind of want to see how this feels and looks like like if I'm at school, like, how clunky is it to like, oh, actually that wasn't too bad actually. Or like, oh, I just need this pen. Okay. I think having the markers all there, like the mostly stuff that I use on the daily um, is nice. And then let's just see, I mean, if this is, you know, what it would look like without any of the markers. I think it defeats the purpose of buying this case because I was hoping that it would fit more than all of my pen cases be combined. But, you know, there's something left to be said about having a setup that um, can accommodate, you know, all of those um, items uh, separately. Okay, let's put... Um, let's just do two water brushes. Okay, this is the last configuration we will see, look at, actually, and then I'll just put this palette in here too, so it's really meaningfully integrated in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is like, that was <laughs> easy to close, not too heavy. There's definitely like a lot more room, but it doesn't feel like it's bulging out, but you know, there's room. And you know, I've seen a lot of setups. I think Caitlin Gray actually keeps a clip here and so does the original video that I saw. And you know, I like it because it keeps this folded down. 
but also I like having this on my desk so I don't know if I want to keep it in here actually you know what I'm not gonna keep that there mm, let's see like that because it tilts this up I think it's because I want to carry this it adds some more bulk maybe in between yeah if I want to bring a clip I can just fit it in there actually that feels good let's see how it feels with a Penco clip, which is a lot bigger and a little bit more heavy duty. Oh, dang, that works too. Nice. Okay, I love that because honestly, carrying kip, kips, clips is such a pain sometimes. Um, but yeah, that works. Oh my gosh, okay, that's so exciting. Do I not have any markers in here? Yeah. Is that kind of a bummer? Kinda. Whoa. Um, okay, last time. I'm gonna see if I can fit a few markers in here. Oh, we definitely can. I'm just gonna take a rough assortment of markers. Let's see. Okay, this is like V full again. Okay, this actually that feels nice. Okay. And I'm just, I think the part where I feel weird is when things start to bulge on the top. There's a little bit, but it's still overall smooth. And dang, this is heavy. I can like <laughs> hit someone with this. This, is a, this has some weight. So if this is your everyday carry, I think it could be pretty heavy. So again, I still, although I would really love to recommend this, I think you don't need it. I think it looks cool. And if you want one pencil case to carry everything, the one ring to rule them all if you will this is the one but if you want a lightweight version of that and you um are a bit more of a visual person i would really recommend the euroliku flat tool case this is not sponsored obviously euroliku if you want to sponsor me holla at your boy <laughs> i'm kidding um and yeah you can um see things here more clearly because this is more visual where this you have to flip the flap and this is definitely not a one layer system where there's like one layer of pens this you can only really fit one layer of pens and so it keeps everything minimal and flat this one you can really stack and this feels more of like a conventional pencil case because you can't really see everything and that's why this was so successful for me but again one of my um things that i'm looking for right now currently is finding a way to carry this um meaningfully with the rest of my stuff and so it's nice i can keep my fountain pens with me i can bring three of my favorites with me um but in a very protective way um and it's that's separate from the rest of my belongings and also a way to carry my um watercolor supplies my travel watercolor supplies um when i need to and want to um uh watercolor because i feel like i would travel journal more or like cafe journal more if i just brought this more and usually i end up leaving it at home in that green pencil case but yeah we'll have to find a new way to redeploy this and this and if not we might have to let it go and sell it we shall see but um yeah these this is still something that you know actually i don't think i would sell this because this will always come in handy and if i want to down downsize from this i would go back to this uh, but yeah, I think uh, that is it, folks. I hope you found this useful. Um, and um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you are interested in, you know, trying out this uh, superior labor utility case. And if you have any cheaper alternatives that you'd like to share with the rest of um, our stationary friends on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for listening and watching. Um, if you want more pencil case setup videos, I'll leave them in the description bar as well as my stationary pouch video because, you know, I just love to bring things with me. This is my current stationary pouch, which, you know, we'll talk about this later, but everything is green. Oh my gosh. Um, but this is my plotter and this has like my work essentials, some lotion. And yeah, this is, you know, something that I like to bring with me everywhere. So um i guess this is part of the fam now too all green everything in 2023 okay that's enough rambling i will see you in the next one please take care and be safe i love you so much as always see you in the next one Bye bye